Hi friend, welcome to day six of Intentional Living. We have a bonus today because our opportunity to live with intention is two-tiered today. So the first thing I want you to do is grab a piece of paper, an envelope, the back of a napkin, your journal, something to write in or on, and also a writing instrument, pen or pencil. And I want you to use this piece of paper to list three ways that you want to feel. For instance, I want to feel at peace. I want to feel calm. I want to feel joyful. Whatever's important to you, list at least three things. So you, you have that now. Be really clear about that too, think about it. And then the second, the bonus part that you get to do is I want you to either grab your to-do list if you have it written out somewhere or if you have it stored in your head somewhere. I want you to go through every item on your to-do list. And there's a lot of moving parts here, so stick with me. I want you to look at your to-do list and determine the things that you, you need to do. For instance, you need to set up a time to meet with your accountant. You need to make your appointment for your annual checkup with your doctor. You need to start planning for a trip that you have coming up in the next week or two. So those, those are really things that are on your to-do list for a reason, because they require an action for you to do. And I want you to prioritize those in this order. Shit sandwich at the top. And then the next least favorite, next least favorite, next least favorite, on down the way. That's how I plan my day. Every day, you guys, I say, okay, what's the least favorite thing I want to do today? Boom, top the list, shit sandwich. I do it first. Because what that helps me do is get the thing I least have pleasure around out of the way first, and I don't procrastinate. And as the day flows on, I get to experience more joyful actions and activities that I get to do on my list. Now there's a second part of your to-do list. You may have gotten in the habit of meeting with a friend once a month for lunch, but this friend is like Debbie Downer. I mean, you get done with lunch and you're just spent, you're exhausted, they've sucked all the energy right out of you. And so that person isn't allowing you to feel one of your top ways you want to feel. So they need to go. They need to go off your to-do list. So that's our assignment. Make sure you get really clear about how you want to feel. How do you want your life to feel? And then go through all these things to do that you have in your life somehow, somewhere, and determine which ones of those serve how you want to feel and which ones of those don't. The ones that don't, get rid of them, either by prioritizing them and getting them done or just not allowing yourself to surround yourself with that kind of energy or that it, whether it's a person or a thing. Just don't do it. That's it. So go do your assignment, create how you want to feel, get your to-do list in order, start chopping away at it, and as you know, go out and have a kick-ass day because I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.